Engineers with the University of South Florida recently received a chance to test their technology that could help NASA explore the moon's southern polar regions. Their goal is to make landing on the moon safer and less expensive. And as ABC Action News reporter Julie Solomon learns, the USF team was one of a few institutions to win a challenge led by NASA. Engineers with the University of South Florida are developing technology to make landing on the moon safer and less expensive. Eamon Connors is a senior at the University of South Florida. He is part of a team that recently traveled to California to test their technology. I went out there expecting to see a lot of cool things, but I my expectations were were exceeded. Um, the Mojave Desert's very cool. There's a lot of a uh, lot of cool business being conducted out there. Peter Jorgensen is the director of engineering for the USF Institute of Applied Engineering. A team with the institute, made up of engineers and students, tested their innovation, known as the A-List. It's short for Automated Lidar Scanning Topography. The USF invention was placed onto a rocket-powered lander for a flight that simulated a lunar landing. It feeds uh, navigation and hazard information into a guidance computer that would use uh, that that would use that mapping information to tell the rocket where a safe place to land would be. Video captures the team as they flight tested their technology and its ability to collect data about surface features such as rocks and craters. This technology could allow for low cost, fully autonomous landing on the moon. It launched from the Mojave Air and Space Port. We got a lot of really good data, but the, the system needs enhancement before we could fly it to the moon. But this is a really good first step. It proved the technology is feasible. The USF team participated in a challenge led by NASA called the Nighttime Precision Landing Challenge. The USF team was named a winner along with two other institutions receiving $500,000 in funding to advance their innovations. Connors is excited about the future. I think what they say is true. Space exploration really is um, the final frontier in that sense. Uh, and that's something I, I would love to do more of it. Julie Salomon, ABC Action News.